The Saka Conference holds a memorable investor ceremony. 110 Master Guide candidates were on November 10, 2018, invested by Lusaka Conference Youth Director Pastor Hayden Hamwene at a memorable investor ceremony held at Kamala Main Seventh day Adventist Church that attracted close to 1,000 people. In the morning, the guest speaker, Pastor Ephraim Mutoya Jr., the Northern Zambia Union Publishing Director, inspected the Guard of Honor in his honor. That don't forget our pledge, which says, by the grace of God, I'll be a servant of God and a friend to man. Speaking during the main service, Pastor Mutoya Jr., in Philippians 3 verse 12 to 14, called on the youth leaders to be humble like Paul, adding that humility was a prerequisite to success in leadership. He added that it didn't matter how one starts the race, but it matters how he or she finishes. In the afternoon, Master Guide candidates presented on different honors to the delight of main spectators. Among the invested master guides was the 80-year-old fancy control. He's 80 years old. Yeah. 80 years old. Yeah. In case you are doubting, she's 80 years old and she became, she was the highest in the exam that we had for church heritage. The investor ceremony was preceded by the awards presentation that so many individuals and districts awarded in different categories which include, among others, the most supportive districts, consistent couples that always come together, the most supportive gospel ministers, indigenous persons, who exhibited great indignity. The first name goes to Jephtha Maketo IG IG, you can't just go without giving us a speech. Uh, Pathfinder all in by and speaking shortly after investor ceremony, Lusaka Conference Youth Chairman Jimunya Chikun thanked youths for the support rendered to his executive. As we pass it on, may the good Lord continue to bless Lusaka Conference Adventist Youth Ministries. Meanwhile, Pastor Hamwene said the future of the church was as evidenced in the new leaders that have been awarded. He was also quick to underscore that the resurgence of social media should not be used wrongly in attacking leadership, rather it ought to be used to spread the gospel. Beware of social media. Beware of power struggles. Beware of criticizing without advising. This church and the youth ministry is only strong when we stand together and support one another. Last Sabbath, his investor ceremony was the last one for the Lusaka Conference as the entity will soon be realigned. Reporting for Hope Channel Zambia, I'm Mebo Chitimbiti in the circle.